Hello and welcome to Unit Testing for Unity. My name is Samuel Asher Ravello. I'm a Unity developer and instructor with over 20 years of game development experience. My mission is to educate and entertain with interactive technology, including Unity. I've shipped Unity titles for PC, Xbox, consoles, and more. And I'm available for remote contract hire as a Unity game developer, a Unity game instructor, as well as a product evangelist. My career experience includes being a game developer, a manager of game developers, and doing education in the game development space. My teaching experience includes universities, classroom, online, creating YouTube videos, and doing videos and first-time user experience analysis and overviews for clients. Our topic here is unit testing for Unity. Unity is a versatile game engine that can be used for all sorts of industries, including, of course, game development. And unit testing is a subtopic that allows you to design and test your classes and architectures so that they're more robust and maintainable. The takeaway here is that after this course, you'll think about creating your classes in a new way, and you'll think about the lifetime and the maintenance of your project as well with more confidence enabling you to do refactors and analysis of your projects and scale them up more easily than ever before. The course is informally broken into a few different learning tracks. At any given time, we'll be focusing a bit more on the theory and fundamentals behind what is the technique or topic of, at hand. We'll also take a look at the editor, unique features that we can do within Unity to empower us as game developers. Here we'll be talking about unit testing and using the test runner window with inside the Unity editor. And then of course, we're gonna be diving deep into code. We're going to assume that the production code that we're writing, while quite simple, is within reach of the students here. And we'll be focusing more on new testing code that accompanies our production code. This testing code will perform automatic tests on that code to give us more code confidence and security on the current state of our project, particularly when we're designing, as well as doing refactors and maintenance. Let's take a look at the course prerequisites. First, there's gonna be some software involved. Everything's free from Unity to the code editor to opening up a web browser to do some more research as we're going along. That's easy. I include instructions in this course for how to install those things you need and to get started. Let's talk about the knowledge prerequisites. So it's important that, to note that this course is not for beginners. We're going to make some assumptions about object-oriented programming, class designs, and we'll even talk a bit about interfaces, which some beginner developers are unfamiliar with. Here and there through the course, if there's something that you don't understand that is not part of our course curriculum, I recommend to pause the video and go check it out maybe five or 10 minutes of reading, and then coming back into the course with that knowledge. We're really focusing on adding unit testing as a new layer on top of our production code. I won't go too deep into talking about production code itself. And in the course, we'll be going through some simple examples as well, from something like a calculator to a simple character movement, and a little bit of stuff around loading some data from an external server. Let's take a look together at the course contents. I'm gonna read along. We're covering the course introduction here. There's a whole section giving a review about Unity. In that section, we'll look at a Unity overview about why Unity is a popular game engine, while the game industry is great and interesting to work within. And then we'll look at some things about the Unity structure, game objects, projects, scenes, things like that. For many of us, that'll be a review, but I do recommend checking it out because some of the things we mentioned there well, I'll repeat later in the course, and it's good to have that fresh connection. Then we'll do a little bit of software design, talking about some design principles and a little bit about design patterns, just so we understand the science and the art behind how we design well-performing code so that once we begin unit testing on that, we'll be talking a bit about those efficiencies and those design principles. In the unity testing fundamentals, we'll go over what is a unit test, why do you want to do it? How do you do it inside Unity? And that's going to be a step-by-step -step process to really look from a project that has no Unity unit tests to adding our first unit tests. That's a great place to really get those basics solved. Then we'll move on to doing a series of workshops. In the workshops, each of them is going to be a bit more free form. I'll put, I'm just going to share my screen and go through the core course sample project that's included for you. And in each of those, I will 
just kind of go with a stream of consciousness explaining the motivation behind it. We'll do a bit of coding as we go in some of them. Some of the workshops will be more code heavy. Other ones I'll be reviewing existing code. But throughout all of them, it's really another chance to just add another layer upon layer of comfort and familiarity with the concepts. Uh, during the workshops, I recommend to open up the sample project and follow along. And here and there through the course, I'll mention that there'll be an opportunity for some advanced topics too.